This time we're going to change it up and we're going to do the opposite. So we're going to give color to a black or white object. This works with objects, t-shirts, and just any color in general that is black or white. It also varies. Every image is going to be different. So some images will be a bit harder to do because it will have much darker blacks or much lighter whites. Now, first of all, you want to import your image, just simply left click, drag it into the work area, or you can go to file and open. And of course, if yours says that it's a background, you just want to left click on the lock to unlock this. Now, when it comes to selection tools, there is a lot of options out there. One that I would highly suggest to use is the pen tool. And pen tool is honestly the best tool that you can ever use for selections and anything in general, you right click in here, and make sure you select the pen tool. Once you've done that, you want to hold Alt and then scroll up with your mouse to zoom in. And we're gonna start on the shoulder and go all the way around. Now, if you've never used the pen tool before, I have a video on my channel. You just left click once to get yourself a point and then you left click again to get yourself another point. This will create a straight line. Now, if you press Ctrl and Z to undo and you left click and then drag it out, this will give you a curved line so you can go around the bends or anything in general. Go all the way around what you wanted to select, and then at the end, we will create the selection. So once you get all the way around and you go back to the very first one, you just want to go onto the first one, hover over it, and then left click to connect it all up. All you have to do now is go over to the selection, set the feather radius on one, and then go ahead and press okay. You want to create yourself a folder or a group, and then double left click on the name and call this color or any name that you want. Now that you've done that, make sure you select in this one, and then you want to go down to the bottom where the half filled circle is, click on here and then get yourself a solid color. So pretty much pick yourself any color that you want. We're going to go with a nice purple color like this. And then once you're happy with it, press okay. You also want to go over to the effects, which is right here. And then in here, set this to color. So what we need to do now is we need to hold control or command and then left click on the thumbnail for the mask. You want to make sure you select in the color. You want to go over to the adjustments, which is right here. Now yours will probably be inside the panel right here. If you don't see it open at all, you can go to window and then adjustments. And then you pretty much want to get yourself the levels, which is right here. The first slider will allow you to control the darkness of it. So how dark you want it to look. And as you can see, the more we go over to the right, the darker it'll be. The middle one will be responsible for the contrast of it. So how much contrast you want it to apply to the image. And then finally, the last slider will allow you to control the lightness of it. So how light the t-shirt or the color will be. And then the one underneath it is all about the darkness and the brightness. So if we slide over the first one over to the right, it will remove the dark areas. And if we move this one over to the left, it will remove the light areas. We're going to increase the darkness on this one a little bit more to right about here, let's say 22. And then the contrast, we want to just make it right about here. We don't want to give it too much, but not too less. And then finally, if you wanted to, you can give it a bit of brightness as well, like so. We can minimize this. And that's pretty much it. That's how you change the color of a black color. And if you wanted to, you can always go back to the solid layer, which is right here, double left click on the color. And if you wanted to, you could change it to anything else. So if you wanted a red, or if you wanted to get yourself, let's say a blue or any other color. Now with this one, you will have to adjust it because some colors, for example, yellow doesn't look very good. 
Here's a quick little tip for when you're working with much brighter colors. For example, if we were going to select a cyan color, you can see that straight away it is a lot darker. And to fix that, all we have to do is go into the levels and then we decrease the darkness of it. You can see that it's also brung a lot of noise. First of all, hold control, left click on the mask for the t-shirt, go into your main image and press control and J. Move this one close to these ones. You want to hold shift, click on this one, on the top one, and then go ahead and press control and J. Right click on it and then convert to a smart object. Now with this one, we can pretty much put it on top of the group. What we can do then is go to filter, go down to noise, and then go to reduce noise. And then pretty much in here, you want to copy the same settings as me. What this will basically do, as you can see, it has smoothened it down and made it more softer. If we go ahead and press okay, you can see the difference right there. It's made it a lot more softer. Same applies for a white t-shirt. As you can see, if we get ourselves the same adjustments and apply it onto here, it will also change the color. Now with this one, it is a little bit more different because it is a lot brighter, so you need to work with much darker colors. For example, if I double left click on here to change the color, you can see I've made it a lot more darker than normal. If I was to put it to, let's say, all the way to a bright red color, it will look very cartoon-like and it will look too bright. And also the settings that I've used for this one is 117, for the first slider, 0 0.42 for the middle, and then the 250 for the last one. And also I've changed the output levels to 217. And like I said before, you can always double left click on here and change it to any color that you want. We can go through this and apply any color that we want. Let's say you've got yourself something much more difficult and you have something like this where the color is a lot more darker than normal. So you would do the same steps as before, but this time I'm going to pretty much copy the selection. The first thing that I would recommend to do is go to adjustments, go and get yourself a hue and saturation, decrease the saturation and this will remove that blue tint. Hold control or command, left click on the thumbnail, for the mask and then get yourself a solid color. And for this one, let's say we're gonna go with a cyan color like this. Go ahead and press okay. Go over to the mode, set this to color and straight away you can see this time it is more difficult. Hold control or command, click on the thumbnail and then get yourself the levels. What we need to do with the levels is we need to adjust the contrast of it. So if you want it really bright, you can adjust it like so. If we get ourselves a bit of the lightness. If you're looking for the same settings that I've applied, they are right here. So what I've basically done is the same as the one underneath it, but in the levels, I've set it to seven for the first one, 2.89 for the middle, 250 for the last one. And on the bottom one, I've gave it a output of 19 on the darkness. To achieve that realism, you want to go into the color and instead of going for something really bright, you want to go further down and make the color much darker. So the way that this works is the further down you go, the darker the color, and then the further out left you go, the less saturated that color will be. So as you can see, I've achieved this really good look to this right here, just by simply going further down and then more over to the left. And the one that I've used and it has worked really good right now for this color is 3D 505C. And you can see this looks really good.